Good morning, everyone. Good Friday is not the time for good people to be silent. All around Ireland, ordinary people like us are horrified at what's been done to the Palestinian people. We've demonstrated, lobbied, fundraised, protested, petitioned, and taken direct action in the attempt to convince those who represent us to take all the measures available to stop this genocide. We've, despite some strong rhetoric, we've seen very little action. Ireland and the Irish people have many links and connections with the people of Palestine. We share a history and we share our humanity. It's unbelievable to us that as we move further generations away from the catastrophic and avoidable famine that devastated our own population, that we see on our screens and other people being deliberately subjected to the same catastrophe, the immeasurable harm being done is unconscionable and people of conscience should not stay silent. Right now we're watching war crimes being inflicted on the frail bodies of starving children by a powerful high-tech military which is supported and armed by the US and acting with support, preferential trade agreements, weapon sales and moral support being provided in abundance by the EU of which we are part. Despite a UN call for a ceasefire, Israel continues its attempt to wipe out a whole people, a culture and their homeland. Israel is not doing this alone and it could not do this alone. This is why we are here in Shannon Airport today. Ireland is continuing to allow this civilian airport to be used by the US military even while it supports and enables an ongoing genocide against our Palestinian brothers and sisters. We want no part of this. We're here to call for an end to all and any forms of Irish support for the ongoing genocide. We're gathered to show our solidarity with our Palestinian brothers and sisters on Good Friday, a day on which Irish Christians reflect the crucifixion, the violent death of Jesus of Nazareth at the hands of the authorities. Good Friday also has resonances of hope in Ireland because of the fact that on this day a ceasefire was agreed here on our own island. We know that ceasefire is possible and we know that it is possible even within an enduring and painful conflict that also stems from colonialism and the denial of self-determination for the people of this island. Adam, we recognise that now, 25 years after the Good Friday Adam. Agreement, that we still have a distance to travel. We're calling for an immediate, permanent ceasefire in Gaza, along with free access for an international mobilization.